As I said earlier this morning, we have restarted our Legdem Mela after a gap of a year because we didn't have one last year. So this year we thought we'll pay tribute to two great Vidwans who are no longer with us this year. And instead of just paying a tribute, we thought we'll, uh, we'll use the opportunity as to, to see how they have contributed to the field of music. So earlier this morning we had Amrita Amruli speaking about the Pallavis of Vidwan uh, uh, BKSR that, sh that she learned from him and uh, I thought I'll share some of my experiences with uh, Tanjavurshi Shankarayar who is no stranger to most of you who have been following the music uh, scene for, for probably the last five or six decades. Both uh, BK sir and Shankar Ayer, Mama, f had several things in common. They were both Nado Pasakas, both of them very unassuming, soft-spoken people. Both were great teachers, both were non 
and as i said earlier this morning the dubious distinction of being my patients in fact uh, it is as a patient that i got close to i mean when he was my patient that i got close to him uh, because he had a stroke somewhere in the mid uh, 1996 i think he had a stroke and uh, went off to tirunelveli and uh, ange he was recuperating but when he came back to madras then it was madras he came back to madras and uh, he needed the help of a rehab specialist and i happened to be there at the right time brought on uh, to his house to to assess him and then started the relationship in fact it was a joke that instead of the fees that he would pay me i told him you or paatu kattukunga more like a joke because there is no equation between the two he said era kudukanume anda sir namukku unga paatu solli kudunga porom that is how the relationship started and then of course uh, he also spent some time in a senior citizens home he spent some nearly a year in our rehab uh, inpatient ward and so on which gave us ample opportunity to look, uh, give insights into the the persona that he was now this is a photograph i'm sure shriram here will will remember uh, of an event that uh, we the music forum organized in tirunelveli at talayuthu where he spent the last 15 odd years with his nephew edhuk solla varena right through he only could think of music there was, there was hardly anything that he could because kalaile enda onna he will switch on one mini tambura there start singing andaro mahano bahulu or jagad jagadananda karaka or or viriboni varnam that was the era in fact we all look or we all stand on the shoulders of the previous generation so wrong unfortunately the commitment that the previous generation showed has not been recorded only nama solrud dhan theriyum today we have recordings of everything trivial or otherwise or important whatever everything can be recorded and kept for posterity whereas how can anybody say other than directly being in contact with somebody shankarayar that he he would get up not in the best circ- of circumstances he was 97 or, or so he lived till a very ripe old age but right through he has been having health issues so gets up in the morning at 4 or 5 switches on the tambra start singing yaar kekkanonna illa there's nobody to record him there's no whatsapp message that he can send there's no nobody to see how he sang but anyway such people needed to be need to be celebrated and i believe personally that celebrating a person while he is still alive is very important so uh, my association with shankarayar was also one of reverence as uh, what he for, as a guru for what he taught me but also as a composer which is what i'm going to talk about mostly today he was also a great teacher he was nado pasaka all those things we know but uh, today i will analyze or try to analyze some aspects of his songs one of the things i keep i feel very proud about is when you say that you have learnt a song we sing chama shastri we sing dikshidar we sing swadithan we sing so many songs and ella ange vaadiyar solli kudutathu abdin da varum as far as shankar is concerned i have learnt from him directly so learning from a composer directly is a, is a distinct advantage and a blessing abdin naan solluven so the first song that i just sang is a varnam that he composed uh so i will try to present you shankarayar's contribution in terms of the variety of compositions the ragams that he deployed 
some ragams that he invented the language the deities and content and the subtle aspects of music that he delivered so when we look at variety we just sang a varnam that he composed we'll now sing a lakshana kriti composed by him <coughs>
so he has taken the uh, swarams of sarimapanisa sani pamarisa of hamsanadam and composed this as a lakshana kriti as far as he is concerned this is the swarupa of hamsanadam and uh, he has also composed many kritis we will come to that later he has composed the tilana we will come come to that also later and the ragamalika but he has also composed a javali which i don't know in shuruti this is the variety which he has done all this is to to what i know or what is available to me see one problem with shankara is he was always very reticent to teach his own kritis or paati solli kuduva na na ante idu entha nuchu paadlame abindar samadha thyagare vaal avar tha enoda manasika guru அந்த அவர் கம்போஸ் பண்ணது எதா பாடலாமே திஸ் இஸ் வாட் யூஸ் டு சே இல்லை சார் உங்கள் உங்கள் பாட்டை சொல்லிக் கொடுங்க அப்புறம் ரொம்ப ஹிசண்டாக யூஸ் டு டீச் ஹிஸ் ஓன் சாங்ஸ் பட் சங்கரையர் இஸ் நோன் ஃபார் ஹிஸ் துக்கடாஸ் லாட் ஆஃப் அஸ் லாட் ஆஃப் அஸ் இன் இந்த கான்சர்ட்ஸ் கீப் சிங்கிங் ஹிஸ் ராக மாலிக ரஞ்சனி மாலா ஆர் மகாதேவ சிவசம்போ or manasara madiyani but there were also some very standard krutis which were uh, sung by my guru dk jaraman and popularized by him and enga vaadiyark harikamboji na konjam laddu maari he loves to diabetes irundhalu laddu anyway so he was so happy to sing harikamboji and when shankarayar presented him with uh, Muruga Thirumal Maruga he used to and the charanathala karunai kadale la romba alaga paaduvar we'll sing that song mm tanana tadarananana nanana Oh, 
பாடுவார் <laughs> வருவாயருள் புரிவா ாங்கிட்டி <laughs> Sundarangi Anga Vadhyar Vandhu He used to sing the Neraval and Swaram for this So the Ragams invented By Shankarayar is Vishnu Priya And the part lay varun Vishnu Priya Marughan Mudra varun In fact a lot of his songs The Mudra does come Idhila Vishnu Priya It's a Vivadi Ragam Thank <laughs> you. 
பாலல சுப்ரமணியன் பாதமே துணை 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 பாடும் வேதது துணை பாடும் வேதது நீ பொருளானவன் பால சுப்ரமணியன் பாதமே துணை பாடும் வேதது நீ பொருளானவன் பால சுப்ரமணியன் பாதமே துணை பாடும் வேத he has invented is hamsa kalyani hamsa uh, hamsa dhwani and kalyani like 
सरे गी सरे हम सद्वरि इन दि आरोहण एंड कल्याण इन दि अवरोहण इट्स ऑलसो सेड दट ही हेज इन्वेंटेड अ रागम कॉल मनोरंजित so one of the characteristics in his language among the songs that i know most of them were in tamil enak therinjad so i i assume that he was very comfortable in his mother tongue so nariya paantugal tamil la compose pannirkar and i suppose what in in terms of lyrics what appealed to most audiences and also other uh, singers who popularized his songs was that the lyrics are very simple easy to understand bala subramanyam padame thunai or paamalai sootiye paadine simple there is no uh, there is an immediate connect with the uh, lyrics as far as shankaraya's Con- uh, songs were concerned, and to keep at rest, what is the ragam? Na nariya paanta kudal la ragam utheriyam potruvar. Sometimes apdiya it could be Vishnu Priya Marigan adile dovetail panuvar, or some sometimes Natha Jana Palini Nalina Kanti. So you are clear that this is the ragam. For example, Mana Saramadi ani Saramadi larke. manasara madiyani so that is how he brings the ragam name manasara madiyani shivan magane dinamuni nai tingan gadavu nai manasara madiyani shivan magane dinamuni nai tingan gadavu nai manasara madiyani shivan magane dinamuni nai tingan gadavu nai manasara madiyani shivan magane Ah uh-huh. 
ಲಾಲ್ ಮಾರಗನೆ ಮುರುಗನೀರದಿ ಮಲ್ಮದನೆ ಮಿಳಗನೆ ಬೇಲಣಿಯು ಮಾರ್ಬನಿ ವೀರನೆ ವೇಲಣಿಯು ಮಾರ್ಬನಿ ವೀರನೆ one of the responsibilities we all have is to propagate those who want to take it should take it it's not that we should force somebody to learn of course you all are asha kattunda ingitte and but that's not the point there is a responsibility to succeeding generations that we have to impart because today we see Uh, some kritis of shama shastri or some kritis of dikshidar which are not available to us and we don't know whom to search for to get the right uh, you know authentic version of that song and i believe that our uh, responsibility to the muse responsibility to to music is that we have to at least document if not propagate because uh, i remember uh, shankarayar mama ke we of course there were felicitations and all that but we also organized a composition uh, competition for school children to learn his songs and uh, we selected the the best school student who sang his songs ipdi ella competition la vechirundom so and i also brought a double cd album of his songs which is of course available now free to anybody who wants it of course cd yarume ipo kekkaradilla ellame ipo pen drive um internet la eduthe but wherever available these songs need to be available whereas it's not that it should be propagated but those of whom who is interested in these songs can be can learn these so at least to my part i have taught it to some of my disciples and i was very happy then when kirtana's disciples sang it which means it's going to the next generation also shankar and mama had a, a very wide tutelage he came under the tutelage of satur shri krishna yengar in chennai then he joined the sangeetha bhushanam course in annamalai university he had a, a a uh, uh, lineage of uh, uh, it must have been in his genes because his grandfather was also a musician his other teachers big stellar a group of stellar musicians like tiger varadacharya tk rangachari tirpambaram swaminatha pullai tanjavur ponneya pullai and also he was very interested in new main veena in fact the first thing he used to ask me now veena vaashi pena you know he he got a stroke and couldn't use his hand so his first thing is paadala <coughs> but veena vaashi kene me that was his first question to me of course um, he recovered only partially his use of the hands then uh, actually he was not born in tanjavur he stayed with his sister there so he became tanjavur shankar here he could have very well become bombay shankarayar because he spent some time in bombay also but basically he was born in tohemali near trichy 
he's had a very constant interaction with a lot of his contemporaries there was something called friends of music and uh, a group of musicians and music lovers like t brinda critic nm narayan they were all part of that group obviously uh, he used to come to my guru's house dk jayaraman's house in fact angada modala I, i saw him but at that time i did not know about him as a composer i was very young i was just in medical college at that time a oh, frail looking young man uh, uh, yeah he must have been in his 50s or 60s around that time and then tk uh, j mama told me id yaar theriyuma theriyad sir shankar yaar pa mahadev shivam shivam solli kudutan le avar da adu and then i remember uh, shankar yaar mama singing uh, madhi al vittaganagi oh, he loved uh, tamil music thevaramla id thirupugal மதியால் வித்தகனாகின் ஒரு சுருட்டியில் ஒரு திருப்புகள் பாடி கற்றுக்கோ ரொம்ப சிம்பிளாக இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு தட் வாஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சங்கரையர்ஸ் மியூசிக் இட் யூஸ் டு பி வெரி சிம்பிள் வி ஜஸ்ட் ஹேட் அ லெக்சர் பை அமிர்தா ஜஸ்ட் நவ் விச் விச் ஹஸ் திங்ஸ் கேன் பி காம்ப்ளிகேட்டட் ஆர் சட்டில் பட் டு தி ஆடியன்ஸ் இட் மஸ்ட் பி மியூசிக்கல் அண்ட் சிம்பிள் தட் இஸ் எசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் மியூசிக் தட் இஸ் ஈஸ்தட்டிக்ஸ் ஐ சப்போஸ் in if if one were to ask me aesthetics na it should be musical and it should be simple which was the appeal of several of uh, shankarayar's krithis he also composed in telugu lot of uh, names of goddess comes in in that uh, krithi but we will sing that it was in purna chandika nalla nalla Hmm. There might have been other songs in Telugu. The one I know I will sing. Paripurana hmm. Chandravadani Paripurana Chandravadani Paripurana
been 50 years or plus when I started learning from Shankarayar Mama and only his songs and uh, the only way I could remember his songs was to teach that's the only way I could read him in childhood what all I learned I'm finding it difficult to forget but after a certain while, I, I have realized that to teach is the best form of learning. So, of course, it depends on how you have learnt it, of course. <laughs> now we move on to the emotional content of Shankarir's Kritis. You must have noticed many of these songs, they are very, very positive. So, in all his songs, there is an there's an aura of positivity and it's also sometimes linked to some disasters because in during the Bhuj earthquake he composed a song Bhumi Mata Pati Oro Kriti Composed Pandar Adepola during the when there was no rain in fact if a part of a by market but <laughs> but uh, he composed a song on uh, Ganapati. Padriya. Saranam. Saranam, Saranam, Saranam. Saranam, the party. Saranam, 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 Shanti Vinayaka. Santatam, Nimpadam, Padi. Gajamugane, Wundan Kayal, Bani, 
The only song, to my knowledge, that was not, I mean, Rumba Rumba Kashtatla Rumba composed Panda Pata, Shanti Alitidum Kanti Mati Devi. This was when the peak of his stroke. He went to Trinal Valley and he stayed there for a few years. Apo, he must have felt very lonely, must have felt very incapacitated. So, Apo, Negative, right? But. Pardon? Chanti Gali Tidum Kanti Madi Devi Santa Dumnim Padam Padin De Mana Chanti Gali Tidum Kanti Madi Devi Santa Dumnim Padam Padin De Mana Shanti Gali Tidum Kanti Madi Devi Santa Dumnim Padam Padin De Santa Dumnim Padam Padin De Santa Dumnim Padam Padin De Undanai Vuru Kanam Marandari Gene Undanai Vuru Kanam Marandari Gene Undanai Vuru Kanam Younger PJ Boru Katarul Vayam. Younger PJ Boru Katarul Vayam. Younger PJ Boru Katarul Vayam. Manasha the Gali Tidum Kanti Madi Deviyam. Santa Dominum Padam Padin De. Padam Padin De. 
संतदम निल पादम पर्णिल दे हनये बुनयिल दी वेर तुनयरिये Anaye vune yandri ver tu ne yariye anugraham se dilu ambe gaye yenai namni sodi kalama yenai namni sodi kalama yenai namni sodi Dammirangini vandarul vaye, yenni dammirangini vandarul vaye, yenni dammirangini vandarul vaye, yenni dammirangini vandarul vaye, manasha ni yali dum, kadi madi demiye. Deities, he is composed on all, almost all the deities. I, again, from the songs that I know, his Ishta Devata seems to be Murugan, but he's composed a huge number of songs on the goddess also. There are some songs that are uh, not very often heard, like Ta ye daya pari unta di nai panide. That's a very popular song. There's a story on uh, how Rama Nama came up with this. After independence, he wanted to compose uh, a, a song in uh, North Indian Raga, Desh. And th thus was born around the independence time, after independence, Rama Nama Me Tudhi Maname. On Venkata Chalapati, there's a song on Riti Gaula. Venkata 
on different deities where engiyum paadrathukku opportunity kedakkala enna inga paadindirukken full song ena usually or kacheri nu paadumbodhu we always we have got so many a galaxy of great composers in front of us but once in a while you should bring in some of these compositions also adukaga dhaan paadindirukken or the, he used to like to adapt the நார்த் இந்தியன் ராகாஸ் அவர் ஹிந்துஸ்தானி ராகாஸ் டு அவர் மியூசிக் தேஷ் பற்றி சொன்னேன் அதே மாதிரி யமுனை கல்யாணி அண்ட் ஆல்சோ வி நோ தட் மேகரஞ்சினி இன் ரஞ்சனி த ரா ராகமாலிகா ஹி வாஸ் ஸ்டாண்டிங் இன் அ ரயில்வே ஸ்டேஷன் பாம்பே அண்ட் ஹி ஹேர்ட் இன் ஃப்ரம் கராச்சி ரெக்கார்டிங் தி மியூசிக் மேகரஞ்சினி ராகம் அண்ட் தென் தட் ஹி இன்க்ளூடட் இன் திஸ் ராகமாலிகா ஆல்சோ யமுனா யமுனை நதி கரையில் ஆடி விளையாடும் யமுனை நதி கரையில் ஆடி விளையாடும் யசோதை மைந்தனே அந்த யசோதை மைந்தனே வந்து அப்படி விட்டுருவார் அங்க யூ நோ ஹிஸ் ஸ்டைல் யூ ஹவ் ஹேர்ட் சிங் இல்லையா யசோதை மைந்தனே அது லைட்டா இங்கு நீ வருவாயோ நதிகரையில் ஆடி விளையாடும் 
aspects of his music that is very subtle solli kudukumbodhu simple ah irukum ana paadum bodhu when try to reproduce is somewhat difficult there was one song uh, in sahana his own kriti which he taught uh, me saravana bhagok seriya paadena theriyadhu he kept on repeating this and uh, கடைசி வரை ஒத்துக்கலை நினைக்கிறேன் அதாவது ஹில் ரிப்பீட் நான் பாட ட்ரை பண்ணுவேன் திருப்பி ஹில் ரிப்பீட் சரவன் சரவன் கோக அது வரத்துக்கு ரொம்ப நாள் ஆச்சு ஏன்னா அது இட் ஹாஸ் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் இன் வால்யூம் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ இன்க்ரீஸ் இன் டெப் அது வர வரைக்கும் உடலை என்ன ஷண்முக <laughs> ஆரம்பிக்கணும் 
முகத்தில்ஸ் <laughs> the way you embroider the kriti he used to have a limit and then and the dasan yen mail and the charanam padu palabeyargal kondu engalai paale tarolum parvathige பல பெயர்கள் கொண்டு எங்களை பாலி தரோடும் பார்வதியே பழைய வினைகள் கலைந்து எங்களை பார்த்தியருளி போழிவாயே பழைய வினைகள் கலைந்து எங்களை பார்த்தியருளி போழிவாயே உலகம் புகழும் மகிமை உணர்ந்து உன்னை சரணடைந்தேன் உலகம் புகழும் மகிமை உணர்ந்து உன்னை சரணடைந்தேன் சலனம் அடையும் மனதை நிறுத்தி சாதி ஏதோ ட்ரை பண்ண உடனே வேணுமா அதெல்லாம் சலனம் அடையும் மனதை நிறுத்தி சாந்தின்னு பாடும் போது ஏன் இதெல்லாம் பண்ற அப்படின்னு கேட்டா சரி சார் சலனம் அடையும் மனதை நிறுத்தி சாந்தி that is the effect it should give allah vana that is aesthetics so that is these all how a lot of close up palagi palagi avalta kattende irundha tha you get it there is only a limit you can learn from a tape recorder from a recording of course uh, there are so many songs uh, in a variety of songs that he has composed i will finish this talk with a tillana that he has composed in ananda bhairavi just to show the variety that he has composed tadirana tanadirana din tadirana tanadirana din tadirana tillana tadirana tanadirana din 
Enriching and uh, informative uh, like them. Um, some things, even if you've known them for a long time, and even even if you are familiar with it, the uh, the conviction and the love with which somebody conveys it again uh, makes it deeper and more meaningful to us. Or a kriti ayram vati ketalam yepri yade. நம்ம மனசில் இன்னும் ஆழமா ஒரு இடம் பெறதோ இட்ஸ் பிகாஸ் இட் இஸ் ஸோ பியூட்டிஃபுல் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் ஃபுல் ஆஃப் லவ் அதே மாதிரி டாக்டர் சுந்தரோட ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் டுடே வாஸ் அன் இண்டிகேஷன் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் ஸ்ரத்தா ஹிஸ் குரு பக்தி ஹிஸ் லவ் ஃபார் த காம்போசிஷன்ஸ் ஹிஸ் லவ் ஃபார் த கிரேட் மேன் தஞ்சாவூர் சங்கரையர் ஸோ கங்க்ராச் டு தி என்டயர் டீம் அவர் சொன்ன மாதிரி ஃபஸ்ட் ஆனிவர்சரிக்கு அவர் பாட்டும் செகண்ட் ஆனிவர்சரிக்கு நான் பாடுறேன் 2023 la <laughs> it's a very beautiful idea that is when we celebrate these com- these great composers and these legends who have walked and sung so beautifully on this earth uh, we are basically celebrating our great music tradition and ishwara himself so and the and the and the very la vand inda mari initiatives romba vendiyad tirupi tirupi kacheri nariya kekrom nariya paadrom but more meaningful ways of uh, presenting them and enjoying them it's very important to look at it that way shankarayar was uh, sar vand uh, he was a nado pasaka in the truest sense of the word we use this word very casually nowadays in sense nado pasaka na edho paadra nanna paadra per na illa nado pasaka apdi illa nado pasaka means 
somebody who is doing upasana in for sangeeta for nada as the main thing in life as the main purpose in life kacheri pandradala nada upasana solla mudiyadu paata solli kudukkaradum there are all different aspects of the music but nada upasana the way we understand it or the way in the i simplest simplistically understand it is somebody who has arpanified has surrendered has renounced his or her life to nada adu mari da irundar shankar iyar we have all seen that happen he was so spiritually connected avarku vera oru kavalayum illa unnai nambi vaalbavarku oru kavalayum illa endra shanmukku priyal oru beautiful kriti avare potrukkar avare solli kudutar enak adu mari da irundar avar it was not just words as poetry it was an expression of his life avar sonna mari everything was positive even in his most grief and he had so many setbacks in life in his personal life but do you know that uh, till he passed away in his last 10 years every day of his life he used to get up in the morning sing all the five pancharatnas twice and again in the evening he used to sing chitra his daughter in law uh his uh, uh, nephew's wife uh, tells me this and the mari shraddha namalala is it even possible for us to imagine that kind of shraddha and there's nobody listening to him there's nobody validating him our but that bhakti was so pure and every day and he was on his bed he could barely sit up he used to sit up with great difficulty the the back was bent because he was so frail and after the all the strokes and all his complications of you know so many health issues he had but in the part mattum appadi avara jolike vekkum and he was also very i think it was murugan zarul or ambal zarul whatever they are all the same is that his voice despite many aspects of his health giving up one after the other his voice remained so beautiful and young avar solli kaatvar patya sri ram koral ninnu ipdi irukku paadi kaatvar even at the age of 95 96 when he used to sing apdi speed pesum apdi range irukum you can never feel the age in his voice correct ah apdi paaduvar nariya vaati na when we used to go even once once or twice even uh they have come avar chalapa paadi vittu namlaala adu thodave mudiyadu we might think we are proficient but or shri ragam paadnar or ka or mohanam paadnar when we were there i remember mohanathil ipidiyalam voice eduthen po mudiyuma 10 times i would i was trying i couldn't get it it was so depressing because nama nenjin irukom namakku edho thirame irukku paattla or proficiency irukku skill irukku la nenjin irukome we are all ordinary people you know but our paadradhu namma paad mudiyala and solling kaatvar nee hindustani ellam padikire nanna paadriye idena ye unakku varamaatenga solvar there have been many occasions you know so that was the magic and the magic vandu nammala that's why um, i i have also tried to imitate i i like to imitate many great singers and i am quite good at it bade gulam ali khan irukatum md ramnath ramnath krishna ellar imitate pannu that is one way we learn we increase our vocal proficiency by trying to imitate great artists but shankar ramnath too i have totally failed at imitating him because he was so inimitable he was and the example kudutar liya and the and the voice eppadi poi vidrudhu and the vaarthiyoda pronunciation eppadi and the speed and the tempo and the and the proportion ellame abadi very very difficult கேட்கறதுக்கு ரொம்ப சுலபமாக இருக்கும் பட் வி ஆல் நோ பீப்புள் ஹி ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் நோ தட் தட்ஸ் வை ஆல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி ஃப்ரஸ்ட்ரேட்டட் மெனி ஆஃப் தம் பிகாஸ் அவர்கிட்ட போய் பாடி பாடிட்டு வந்தால் நம்மளுக்கு நமக்கு நம்ம ஏன் பாடுறோம்னு ஆயிடும் யூனோ ஹி வாஸ் ஹீ ஹேட் தட் எஃபெக்ட் ஆன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் எனக்கு வந்து ஃப்ரம் ஹீ வாஸ் மை மதர்ஸ் குரு ஆல்சோ வென் ஐ ரிமெம்பர் வென் ஐ வாஸ் அ ஸ்மால் கிட் ஆஃப் ஃபோர்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டீன் i remember him coming because he was in bombay for i think more than 15 20 years in his middle life when he was in his 50s and 60s 40s 50s la anga da irundar 
um, <coughs> and uh, uh, so he used to come home and nariya avar paarthu enakku vague memories irukku and many of the compositions that i learnt as a small kid directly from him things like manadirku gandhu rama nama me tudi maname manasaramadi ani even geetha vaadi natana nataka priya idella avarte ne neradiya kattunde appo of course enakku value theriyala edho paadinar edho nama kattundo rama nama me tudi maname was uh his uh, one of his avar sonna mari he gave the indication of it being around independence time it matches because it was around 14 15 he was and that was his first composition they say the rama nama me tudi maname is considered to be his avara solli theriyala enakku but i have found some people uh, saying that it was his first composition in raga desh apo nariya avarku and the time la nariya Uh, he was not very well known in madras circles around at that time only a few musicians know him because he never sought any opportunities or chances to to be a performer the sad thing about our music is that we only celebrate uh, performers we don't celebrate musicians <laughs> yeah but then that is the nature of the world itself so this is just uh, are they indication so let us not think of music as one great divine realm where very godly things happen this is a professional like any other profession <laughs> so we forget to celebrate such great musicians so many great musicians have gone by uh by just being uh, not known we continue to celebrate mediocre but successful performers but that be a very good at uh <clears throat> but bombay lab, uh, there were there was a close group of uh, core rasikas ஸ்கோர் பக்தாஸ் ஆஃப் சங்கரையர் சார் ஸோ அவள் வந்து அங்கங்கே சின்ன சின்ன சேம்பர் கான்சர்ட்டில் அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணுவாள் அப்போ அதுக்கு நிறையா வாசிச்சிருக்கேன் நான் பாம்பேயில் டெல்லியில் பரோடாலெலாம் நான் வாசிச்சிருக்கேன் அவருக்கு அப்போ ஐ ஐ ரிமெம்பர் சம் ஆஃப் இஸ் நாட்டை குறிஞ்சி இந்த பூர்ண சந்திரிகால அப்படி வெளுத்து கட்டுவார் அசாவிரி ஹுசைனி எல்லாம் அப்படி பாடுவார் ரொம்ப அழகாக இருக்கும் ஹி வாஸ் அ ஹி ஹி வாஸ் அ மியூசிஷியன் இன் த சென்ஸ் ஹி நெவர் சாங் டு இம்ப்ரெஸ் யூ அவர் நன்னா பாடின்னு இருக்கும்போது போருன்னு அவரே டிசைட் பண்ணிடுவார் ஹி வில் கீப் அஸ் ஹேங்கிங் தேர் யூனோ ரெண்டு ஆவரத்தில் சுர ஸ்வரம் போடுவார் நவரச கன்னடாவில் அதுக்கப்புறம் போருன்னு நிறுத்தி நம்ம ஐயோ இன்னும் பாடலாமே பாடலாமே நான் வயலில் வாசிச்சுட்டு இருப்பேன் ஹி வில் டிசப்பாயிண்ட் யூ தேட் பிகாஸ் அவரை பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் அது போரும் இனஃப் மனோதர்மா லெட் மீ சிங் அன் அதர் காம்போசிஷன் ஸோ ஹிஸ் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் தட் ஹி கேவ் டு காம்போசிஷன்ஸ் வாஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட் வாஸ் வெரி ஹை that's probably why he also became a composer because his his surrender to tyagaraja especially was complete he was sonna mari he will never sing his own compositions in kacheris evlo nama sonnala avar thirivi or tyagaraja kriti da eduthu paaduvar so wonderful and the mari experience now i can never forget up of course and the alavukku consciousness or arivu irukle so i when i recollect it i feel very blessed um uh, அப்போ வந்து ஐ ஆல்சோ ரிமெம்பர் ஹி யூஸ் டு கம் ஹோம் அண்ட் ஹி வாஸ் அ லவர் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் சாப்பிட்டு ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் இப்போ கூட ஆமாம் எப்போ பார்த்தாலும் வென் வென் எவர் வி யூஸ் டு விசிட் திருநல் திருநெல்வேலி டு சி ஹிம் ஒன் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் திங் வில் பி டு டேக் பாதாம் அல்வா அப்படி சாப்பிடுவார் அவருக்கு ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் ஈவன் அட் த வெரி ரைப் ஓல்ட் ஏஜ் ஆஃப் நைன்டி ஃபைவ் நைன்டி சிக்ஸ் எல்லாம் அவர் ரொம்ப ரசித்து சாப்பிடுவார் கீரை பிடிக்கும் யூனோ ஹி லைக் லாட் ஆஃப் திஸ் கார சாரம் பிடிக்கும் அவருக்கு ஒத்துக்காது ஹி நாட் சப்போஸ் டு ஹேவ் அல்ட் பட் ஸ்டில் ஹி வில் ஒன் திங் அபவுட் இஸ் காம் கம்போசிங் ஸ்டைல் வாஸ் தட் இட் வாஸ் வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் டு லேர்ன் ஃப்ரம் ஹிம் ஃபார் அனதர் ரீசன் இஸ் தட் ஹி வாஸ் ஸோ ஸ்பான்டேனியஸ் தட் ஒருக்கா சொல்லி கொடுத்த மாதிரி அடுத்த அடுத்த நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் ஹி வில் நாட் டீச் இட் த சேம் வே த காம்போசிஷன் இப்போவே சுந்தர் பாடுறது நிறைய compose uh, the way he has taught me and the way he he was seeing quite different ama nariya sangathi is maru so he he for him even composing was just a, an activity there was no sense of doership idu nama document pannam idu ipdi da irukanam next generations la paadnam andha mari ore ennam irukkar mari theriyala he didn't consider it it was just like breathing and singing for him it was not some great uh, iconic activity that he indulged that's why constantly it was changing probably he was even feeling that or sangathi minnanathik potamari inikadu vendame avashyam illena like he said 
that is the refinement of his own musical uh, growth that he felt some things were redundant not necessary for martin der parvar but namluk it was a problem because second time poi adu paadum bodha avaru solla sa 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 idella enna paadra i cannot tell him that ninga dhaan sir solli kudutha illa sangathi solla mudiyadu so it was very it's very difficult to get a handle on his compositions his his compositions are very very simple but that's very deceptive ivu solra mari adu effective a paadrad romba kashtam the simpler a composition the more difficult it is to render dharini telusukonte easy a sangathi kanna abina nu potu paadidla but in the simple compositions paadi adu impact create pandrad is much much more difficult all musicians will know what a and they will be simple only at the surface if you dig a little bit the kind of a deep you'll see exceptional amount of design and intelligence and elegance in the composition you know even a composition like geeta vadya natana nataka priya ellave kekkaradhukku romba sulabama irukum i presented a leg them i think two years back at vani mahal where i analyzed this composition so i i that was a good way by which i realized that at a deeper level at a more uh uh in a chuller the meaningful level the compose the compositions had a great amount of sophistication in terms of design and this was all bhagavan sir ruled only he didn't do it consciously uh <clears throat> like i said he was a great singer too um avrodu brika avrodu gamaka ella enikku ipo naan nenichu paatha enakku brahmipa irukku you know we can never uh those who have not uh, heard him have missed something very important in life and he was like nobody else he learned from all these people but he was his own original uh, version one nobody it, it, it will be so original right from his voice production the uniformity of his timbre the the ease with which he sang and uh, he always also used to love hindustani music a lot so amir khan sahab pati bade gulam ali khan sahab pati ella peswar avar and it's very clear that at a conscious and at a very intelligent subconscious level he has assimilated also voice culture from hindustani musicians avaroda purna chandrika le and the voice culture theriyum purna chandrika va irukum but it will have the sophistication and ease of uh, that that we see in hindustani musicians so uh, so he was very uh, very outward looking also he was very generous he was very loving um probably that's why students also used to take him very lightly many of us eh because avaru onnu avadi dandikirado thittavo onnu romba maatar avaru thittrathu kudi romba anba irukum amarku only you will feel it only later it won't be harsh at all that way he was very disarming he was very comfortable to be with you know i remember the last uh, one month before he passed away and he was like a child also kolande mari nanga anga porom na avar chitra he used to tell avar four five days and namma varaporom ipo sundar varaporar sagar varaporar na two days three days minalende avar ready aidu enna shatte potukonam shave panikonam smart a irukonam amma even at the age of 95 varaporale varapulai kaarthale naal manikku endu okkandu iduvar we will probably be reach there reach thoothukudi and reach there only by about 10 30 but his daughter in law used to say thoongave vidale kaarthale endu avar padithindiruka epo varuva epo varuva epo varuva that was the love that he had you know we we have to i i am saying this a little longer time because it is so beautiful to observe this and we have so much to learn from that and the kolandathanam that innocence that he had uh <clears throat> even the last time when we went uh, he sang so beautifully amazing a padinar uh, very compact in terms of his music very honest very crystallized sense of manodharma this is something which which we have to uh, you know rediscover we think manodharma has got to do with volume how long you sing a raga correct we have a pensions for that especially today i see so many singers singing 15 20 30 minute alapanas and people seem to be swayed by that correct ah nariya padna romba nanna padina nu oru oru dhorane irukku we have that idea but he was very uh, contra to that 
இட் வாஸ் வெரி கிறிஸ்டலைஸ்ட் ஒரு ஒன் மினிட் பாடினாலும் அது அப்படி அந்த எசென்ஸாக ப்ரெசென்ட் பண்ணுவார் சம்திங் விச் ஐ ஆம் டெலிங் மை செல்ஃப் தட் வி ஹாவ் டு ரீடிஸ்கா ஐ ஆம் வெரி ஹாப்பி தட் சுந்தர் அண்ட் உஷா அண்ட் ஜானகி அண்ட் ஸ்ருதி எவ்ரிபடி ஆல் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ தாட் தட் ஐ கேன் கம் அண்ட் ஷேர் ஐ ஆம் வெரி ஹாப்பி இட் மேக்ஸ் மீ வெரி கிளாட் பிகாஸ் இவாள ரிமெம்பர் பண்ணுறது வந்து um we are we are doing uh, we are serving ourselves it inspires us it it brings beautiful tarangams of joy within us when we think about them ganapati uh, solamari he was he is also mentioned his father a couple of times and the bhavathile paadrad and the freedom oda paadrad so it is good that he also recollected his joy when சங்கரையர் ஹாஸ் விசிட்டட் ஹிஸ் ஹோம் சங்கரையர் சொல்கிறேன் பட் நம்ம எல்லாருமே சங்கரையர் தான் சொல்லுவோம் சங்கரையர் சார்லாம் சொல்கிற பழக்கம் இருக்கா இல்லை சமஹாவ் தட் 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 ஒன்னஸ் ஹி குட் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் தெர் வாஸ் நோ டிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஒரு சார் சொல்கிறோம் அஃப்கோர்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் டு வி ஆர் வெரி ரெஸ்பெக்ட்ஃபுல் ஸோ சங்கரையர் வந்து நிறைய அவர் ரீகலெக்ட் பண்ணுறதும் ரொம்ப ஹார்ட் வார்மிங்காக இருந்தது பிகாஸ் தேர் ஆல் பிலாங்கிங் டு த சேம் pool of spiritual musicians you know his father shankarella so thank you so much for uh, giving me this time to share some of the very beautiful things about shankarella and i am looking forward to the first anniversary concert <laughs> and uh, i i thank uh, rk sir <laughs> and uh, of course sundar has documented very beautifully many of his compositions and that is a great service and he took such good care you know who takes care of ill and uh, impoverished musicians in our society today we seeing their glory when they are at their peak but there are so many musicians who who just uh, endure so much of hardship and pain in their later lives right that is so it is i i really applaud and i salute dr sundar for uh, being not only a good student but being a very good human being and a go- very good doctor uh, uh, to to shankarya i remember uh, even when inge gudi ivanga in your premises near ah uh, santosh hospital or husaini paadinaar anik or thevaram marakave mudiyad it it was so powerful that i forgot husaini because it nothing i could sing because all that i knew about the raga became zero and the alavuk partner i think shruti was there you were there apdi partner elumba irpar only bones apolende very uh, but then that, that that magic of uh, you know saraswati you can sakshata you can see that when he starts singing and the joy the magic amazing amazing thank you so much om shri guru purama